This is Visio 2010 Network Rack Diagram Tutorial, and this is part six, Same Shapes. In this um, video, we will be looking at saving the shapes that uh, we've modified and um, we're saving them in the document stencil. So I'm going to uh, first go in here and uh, set up to view the shapes and shape data things. Then we'll be zooming out a little bit here. Let's see these objects a little better. And um, now that we've uh, done the modifications with the labeling, set up the data fields, in some cases modified the, uh, the graphics, uh, we go into the developer tab and we want to see the document stencil. And basically anything that's brought into the um, uh, drawing uh, shows up here automatically in the document stencil. Now all these are original. In some cases they've been deleted. We don't even have them in the drawing. But we're going to select all of these items and we're going to delete them all. It says that the mask is going to be deleted and it went to the objects in the drawing page. If we break these links, we're deleting the masters. And normally it's not something we want to do, but in this case, since we modify all these, the answer is okay. Now they're gone. Now what we do is take all of these items into the stencil. And as you can see when they went in here, they were renamed instead of having the nice uh, names that they had before. They become Master 2, Master 4, etc. And it was important uh, to actually take these, uh, instead of just copying them and putting a copy into the stencil, we needed to, to clear the sheet. Uh, now we're going to take them back out. And... We'll do some modifications of these. Okay, now what we'd like to do is uh, rename these stencils. Now we're going to name them with the uh, product numbers and the equipment. So I'm going to select the rack here, go up here to the data, shape data, uh, hit Control C, and then over here to the master and right click rename and control V and then I'm going to go and select the EPS and do the same thing go over here rename it Patch panel. Same thing here. And I'm going to switch. Now we've done that, uh, and each of these shapes has renamed the shape data to correspond with what's here in the document stencil. So you can see that this name is now shown up here. Uh, so they've all been renamed, and this uh, one with the switch had been retained the stencil name from the uh, Levitt and Blank patch panel that we grafted it onto. So you see here how um, we can save these in the document stencil. Now the document stencil stays with the uh, document itself. So um, one of the easiest ways to, to bring these shapes to a new document. Now you can copy the shapes 
and they'll still retain remain linked to this document stencil. And uh, I'm just going to have an example of that. We're going to copy this uh, UPS and uh, hold down the control key to copy it. And both of these are linked. They have different names, but they're both linked to that master. And now if I go into that master UPS and um, right click it and edit master and edit master shape, uh, I'd be able to go in here now and and make a change um, to this and then it would be reflected in both of those and that's important because as you add a lot of sheets and you have some kind of a mistake in a shape you can change it in that document stencil and um, then it would uh, be changed in, throughout your uh, all of the sheets so we're going to go in here select this and open it and then we're going to go on ungroup and I'm just going to select this right here fill that yell close here close here it's going to ask me if I want to update it in all the instances I'm hit yes and you can see that uh, We've changed it on the master and on both of these um, we've made a change to that shape so once you've got the document stencil set up you can do that throughout the document uh, if for any reason um, you wanted to be able to carry these shapes to another document um, the easiest thing to do is to just reuse the document delete pages and, and, and work with that but it's also possible to go and uh, create a new stencil and then that new stencil can, can be is savable. So we can go to the document stencil, select all of these shapes, right click, copy, go to the new stencil that we just put in here, uh, paste those. Now you see this is savable. So you can save that wherever you want it. Then you can start a new document bring this in and all the shapes are available they're all modified the fields are set up and everything so we'll be looking at uh, adding sheets in the next uh, video but uh, this is the way to save those shapes um, so for any further uh, information on this go to uh, drinfrastructure.com